Welcome everyone, this is Like It's 1985 with my review of the high grade 1 to 144 scale ahead Smoltron. Now Smoltron I believe is how you pronounce that name. Uh, I was watching Prime 92's review and that's how she pronounced it so I'll go with that. Now I have to say the ahead is one of my favorite favorite mobile suit designs in the Gundam 00 universe. Uh, right up there with the GNX. Um, as you can see in the background I've already got the and reviewed the uh, Mr. Bushido's ahead. And I went ahead and bought the Smoltron, which I do like as well. Um, you can see right here that the you know the limbs, the arms, the uh, torso, uh, the crotch area, and the legs are similar to uh, each other, if not identical. I haven't tried this, but I would imagine you could probably take the parts and swap them around, and you probably wouldn't know the difference uh, as far as the legs and the limbs go. So as you can tell, I've already got two examples of the uh, head. And I really do like this mobile suit design, and I actually like the build process for these uh, model kits. If I happen to see the regular head out there for for cheap, I'll go ahead and pick that up too as well. I like the, the mobile suit design and the model kit that much. So, with that said, uh, let's move on to articulation. Uh, the head uh, doesn't appear to have the chicken, but you can rotate it around. It's got free range of movement. Uh, shoulders. Uh, shoulders go around like this. Uh, out like about that. Now the piece up here can articulate independently from the shoulder. You've got a swivel at the upper arm, a bend at the elbow, a uh, nice little shoulder armor in the back there. Uh, of course the wrists are on ball joints. Uh, now you don't have waist articulation per se, but you have an ab joint which uh, serves that purpose. So you've got rotation at the ab, and then you've got this type of movement as well, built into the same joint. Uh, these pieces here articulate up and down. The hips uh, slash legs uh, can go back like that, can go forward, and can go out like that. Now you've got a bend at the knee like that, and no swivel though. And then you've got the ankle arm here articulates, and the ankle itself is a ball jointed ankle. So very nice. Uh, as far as uh, accessories go, you've got this shield which mounts onto the mobile suit's left arm. Uh, there's a poly cap there. And as you can see, it's nothing special, but they've molded in the 60mm uh, Vulcan gun. Uh, so it's integrated into the shield. Now, it would be cool if they made a master grade of this uh, mobile suit, which I really hope they do, that they would somehow make this a, a working Vulcan gun. But, uh, you know, as far as the molding detail, it's there. So you can just take this and peg it onto the arm. I believe that's the correct orientation. Um, so next up you got the uh, clear beam saver, which is supposed to be kind of an orange color. And you notice also that the handle is clear as well. Uh, whereas on the Bushido head, at least you had the hilt that was uh, a black piece and the rest was clear. But since I don't have an orange Sharpie or anything like that, it's left it clear. Uh, this is straight out of the box, so. So you've got that, and then you've got the weapon. Now this is the rifle mode right here. If you take this piece off here, and take this piece off, um, you've got the, uh, I think it's called the, the uh, GN submachine gun is what they're, what they're calling it. So submachine gun mode, or if you just put this back on, You've got rifle mode, which I like the best, I think. So there you go. So looking at the back of this model kit, you can see where the uh, design element really comes in. It sets it apart from the Bushido's head and the regular head. Uh, you've got this piece here that articulates around the GN drive. And um, you can see how the color scheme is a black with what's supposed to be like a gold. Uh, the actual plastic color is more of like a yellowish gold. Uh, but still, nonetheless, you get the idea that this is a, a, a design color that's supposed to be gold and black. And I like how they uh, made the colors here with alternating colors with the black, red, and the black again. Um, the black and gold carries out here. This is all plastic here with the gold and the black as well on the shoulder. Um, and then as far as the, another design element, you got this piece right here. Um, so really nice. 
And now for my final thoughts on the high grade uh, ahead of Smoltron model kit. I really do like this model kit. The, the build process is fun. The actual model kit, once you get it assembled, is really cool looking. It does stand 6 inches tall, which I believe is on the high side for a 1 to 144 scale model kit. So you've got a really well proportioned, really uh, tall uh, model kit. And, uh, you know, I, I really couldn't ask for much more from this particular model kit. Now, granted, the beam itself is not colored. And as I was reading on Gundam Wikia, Apparently this mobile suit is supposed to come with two beams and they're supposed to be able to store somewhere on the mobile suit. So maybe if we get a master grade version of this guy then we'll have that uh, issue addressed. But I really I really couldn't ask for much more. I really like the head design and uh, I paid uh, 20 bucks for it. Over in Japan it retails for 1200 yen or roughly 12 US dollars. Uh, so I really felt like I got my money's worth with this kit. Um, like I said, if I can find the regular head uh, for cheap, then I'll go ahead and pick that up too and add it to my uh, head uh, bottle kit collection here. So definitely uh, one of the better kits from uh, Gundam 00. Uh, like I say, nice solid build and uh, very, very nice results once you get the kit build. All right, well, thanks for watching, uh, and I'll catch you in the next review.